Hello humans. So in this video, we're going to be exploring how to alternate between a fixed and variable cost structure on a line item by line item basis. And to do that, we're going to be working with the income statement through total costs of goods sold. Beneath that, we have income statement assumptions, where each line item is represented as a percentage of revenue. And then for the projected period, we take the average of these percentages and then multiply it by revenue to calculate these line items for the projected period. And as you can see, all of these are projected as a percentage of revenue, which might work when you're talking about items like labor or materials, but it doesn't really make sense for items like rent. Rent isn't going to fluctuate with revenue until you actually move into a larger facility. So in this case, we need something that's more likely to mirror what you might find in an actual lease. To do that, we need an additional input. So here in column D, we now have the ability to pick between fixed and variable, but we need to write a new formula that makes these inputs relevant. So that this column and the projected period remain in the same window, I'm gonna collapse all months between January and December of the historical period. And now we can adjust the formula so that we can alternate between fixed or variable. And to do that, we'll use the if function. Then we'll reference column D. Be sure to anchor column D with F4. And the logical test will be whether or not this is equal to V. If so, we'll maintain our current calculation. And if not, we'll grow the prior year's value by the value of 1 plus our fixed growth rate in row 44 below. And since we'll be pasting this formula down, be sure to anchor row 44. Close print and press enter. And then we can highlight all adjacent cells and press control R to paste the formula across. And then select the three rows beneath it and press control D to paste the formula down. So now we can go back to column D and input an F for fixed, press enter. And now you can see that rent in the projected period is growing at 2.5% over the prior year's value. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.